This is Matt from Ghost Town Blues Band, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Remember to keep it realistic. <laughs> Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here at a fishing spot, but the fishing isn't very good. The water is high and cold and muddy. So instead of wasting time with a skunk video, we're going to check out some lures I got from Academy. I spent a total of $23.26. Let's see what I got. First off, we have a package of Big Bite Baits. This is a five inch trick stick. So this is a soft plastic worm. Some people call it a stick bait. And I got it for a great price. This trick stick was $1.48. I have another Big Bite Baits here. This is the 4 inch Creature in Watermelon Candy, also $1.48. These were on sale. I mean $1.48 a pack, that's a really good deal. Here's another lure that came in around the same price. Not such a good deal, but I had to get it for posterity. We have a Johnson Beetle Spin. I'm Wyatt. I'm Penelope. Keep it, it realistic. Let me double check the price on the beetle spin. I think it was also a dollar forty-eight. It sure was. Johnson beetle spin. It was two ninety-seven. Who in their right mind would pay two ninety-seven for a beetle spin? I think a dollar fifty on clearance was actually a little bit high. Next item is a Booyah Bait Company. This is a Hildebrandt blade on a 3 8 spinner bait. Did you know that Booyah was made in Guatemala? Good looking bait here. It's got one Colorado blade and one sort of willow blade. It's really rounded and I guess that's that Hildebrandt shape. It says, after years of testing and tweaking, pro angler Jason Christie has finally designed his perfect spinnerbait. And here it is on clearance at Academy. Let's find the Booyah spinnerbait on here. It's kind of difficult making a video out here with the wind and the funny angle of the sun. Hopefully you can see the lures I'm looking at. Hey, we have another package of those big bite baits. Another five inch trick stick. I like these because they have a chartreuse tail. Look at that in the sun, that looks cool. And they're obviously covered in salt. I tend to have pretty good luck with big bite baits. Maybe it's because they're fortified with bite juice. The next lure is a Denny Brower Structure Jig, half ounce, made with an owner hook. The Denny Brower Structure Jig increases hookup ratios and decreases hangups versus traditional jigs. Good looking jig here, half ounce is a little bit heavy for me, but it was on sale, so I had to pick it up. Oh, 
What's up, guys? This is your homeboy Pelon from the state of Guerrero, right here in Mexico, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. So I got two of them for $4.96. That puts them at about $2.48 each. Let's get a good look at it. Yeah, $2.48. That's a good deal for a Strike King jig. Here's another jig. This is a Hack Attack jig. Let's get a good look at that one. Hack Attack Jig made in Costa Rica. The Hack Attack Jig is the extreme heavy cover jig designed to be fished in and around the heaviest shallow in deep water cover out there. I don't know whose face this is. It's uh, AJ something. I can't even read his name. Does it mention him on here? No. Anyway, it's got some guy's face on it, so you know it's good. We got another half ounce Danny Brower structure jig. Yeah, this one looks good and it's in a good color. Green pumpkin, red flake. Made in Costa Rica. See, it has a guy's picture on it. Happens to be Denny this time, you know it's good. That was also 248. Alright, we got an H2O Express chrome and gold casting spoon. This one looks like gold with a red or chartreuse neon orange, whatever color that is, dressing on the hook. This spoon was 97 cents. Made in China for Academy Outdoors. Here's another spoon, same thing. 97 cents. And finally, another Hack Attack jig. That's a good looking jig. $2.48. So let's try and show off everything we got. Hi, this is John from Knoxville, Tennessee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, check out my haul for about 25 bucks. We got three packs of soft plastics, four jigs, beetle spin, a couple of spoons, and a nice booyah spinner bait. Not bad at all. Once again, the actual total was $23.25. There's some guys fishing on a bass boat. I wonder if they're catching anything. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to looking for a good spot to fish. So far, the fishing has been pretty terrible. So I thought I'd show you some of my recent pickups. Oh, and hey, just between us, leave a comment on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. There just might be a secret giveaway. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.